Hi, this is Jen Mason from Cloth Paper Scissors, and today I want to show you how to alter metal to customize it for your art pieces. Um, here are a before and after picture. We have gorgeous little black butterfly. Um, these are actually available on our website, innerweavestore.com, and um, we're going to alter it today with some Adirondack inks. And um, there are three easy steps to this, but let's talk first about the supplies. I'm using some white acrylic paint. You could use any craft paint. Um, we're using the Adirondack inks. You can either work on um, a silicone um, uh, craft sheet or just some paper towel or newspaper. You want to be careful because the um, ink is permanent and it will go through. It'll drip through your surface. So you want to make sure your surface is protected. And then I'm using. Um, some altered metal deco rivets. Um, this is from another group, uh, a different, uh, obviously not a butterfly. And you can also use some of the Adirondack blending solution, which will blend our colors later, and a piece of sandpaper. So when you start, you have a dark piece of metal, you might have a brass piece of metal, and the first thing you can do, and you can actually just do this, is to um, just sand your surface with the piece of sandpaper. and. I find with the little pieces it's easier to just tip it over and sand like this. You can also pick it up just like you'd be sanding a piece of wood and get the edges. So let's see if I can catch this in the camera. The piece on the left here is plain and the piece on the right has already been sanded. Um, so you can leave it just like this if you like that look, um, but the reason, uh, the reason I sand it is so that the paint will stick and um, this is what it looks like once we have a piece sanded and painted. I'll show you really quick. Uh, I don't even bother using a paintbrush. Uh, if you have a, a, a bottle of paint, you can just squeeze out a little bit. I just dip my finger on here. Uh, I, I like to use my fingers a lot. I can really make the paint go exactly where I want to. So, very easy. That's uh, how we put the paint on. And then you need to let it dry before we add the ink. I'm going to use this big butterfly here because he'll be easy to see uh, and he's already dry and the inks I'm using today are um, they come in sets of three and this one is the Nature Walk collection. It has butterscotch, wild plum, and stream and I like to start with my lightest color and it, it is an alcohol ink so it dries quicker than say uh, a more paint like ink. I'm just I'm not going for um, nature correctness here. I'm just going to add the colors so that I like the way they look. Sort of a rainbow butterfly here. I'm putting these in. Uh, I'm not worrying about them blending and I'm not worrying about them drying right away. Add a little blue. This is the stream. And what I'm going to do is add the blending solution next. This is kind of cool here, but if I add a little bit of the blending solution, it's it's like a clear version of the alcoholic ink, alcohol, not alcoholic, alcohol inks, and it'll blend them a little bit, so you get a little bit more of a rainbow effect. And that's uh, one way you can alter your metal. You can stop by uh, innerweavestore.com to pick up some of these supplies, and you can also come by the community at. Uh, clothpaperscissors.com anytime and see more videos like this.